Welcome to our Move and Prep Instagram Live. We're super excited to have you moving in this week. Um, I do want to introduce someone really quick. Um, here, handling our camera's Favor. So if you could introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Favor and I am an upcoming junior. Right now I'm interning with the Division of Student Affairs. So I just get the opportunity to sit in on this live and kind of help interview today. So please ask questions. We want to hear from you and yeah. So we're gonna get started. I'm talking to you about what it looks like for you to move in this week, right? So the first thing is that you should have in your mailboxes these beautiful arrival passes. Now, if you were sent to them prior to July 9th, you should have your name, your hall number, and your room number, as well as a phone number you provided to your account and your arrival time that you signed up for. Now, if you changed it or signed up for an arrival time after this date, you can still bring these arrival passes, hashtag sustainability, um, and bring these to the to our lots so that we can rewrite them and edit them um, when you arrive. Um, you might also may not have these already, but we do have some blank ones at our lot available, or if you by chance forgot yours, we do have some available, but please bring your pass that you got in the mail. So when you're arriving on campus, you'll want to go to movein.uark.edu and select the arrival map that you need to get onto campus. This is gonna give you the best way to navigate campus it maximizes the right turn so that you don't have to take those pesky left turns. And then you can also navigate campus and avoid all the other traffic that's happening. We've designed these so that you can navigate campus efficiently and effectively so that you can get to your hall. We've also have RAs are navigating the traffic to help you get into the lots. They will be wearing really bright orange vests to help you get into the lot and then also help you park into the lot as well and find a good space close to your hall. So please refer to those maps and follow them diligently when you're arriving on campus. And then once you're in your lot and parked in your spot, you're gonna have 30 minutes to unload all of your items. Now I said unload, I did not say move in all of your items or anything like that or unpack. Make sure you prioritize unloading your items, um, bringing them into the room and then getting your car out of the lot. That way you can spend as much time in the beautiful air conditioning in August and unpack and design your room however you need to when you get on campus. Um, please look for all the signage and flags that we have on campus again. So if you have trouble navigating campus with our maps, we have lots of flags that will match your arrival pass color. Uh, if you've changed your arrival pass, they have little notations and symbols on there for you to best follow your way through campus as well. Um, when you are arriving on campus, we do have dollies and carts that are provided. Um, they are available at your lots. So when you go in, bring your photo ID, you can check out a cart or a dolly. And we have them limited, limitedly. Um, so please bring your own if you have some. But if you don't have one that you're bringing, you can bring that. You can come in and check out a dolly and make your unloading a lot more possible. Um, when you are parking elsewhere on campus after you're done unloading in your lot, you'll go to lot 322 for our students. And then our parents on the back of this arrival pass here will have a little QR code here um, to tell you what, gar what garage might be closer, but it also route you to either one that works best for you. This is so that you can park there temporarily on campus and um, do a Walmart run, a Target run, anything else that you found out that you missed while unloading um, that you can go pick up and then come back to the Garland parking garage. We will also have shuttles available that can help in navigating campus as well to get you back to the hall. Some couple quick things to note um, that you can get from movein.uark.edu um, is that we are not allowing any U-Hauls in our lots, so please don't bring a U-Haul or a trailer you will not be allowed in. We do not want you to have to park a very far um, distance away to unload the U-Haul, so please only come with items in your cars. Additionally, please don't bring any of your pets or animals. Um, please leave all the goodbyes at home with your animals if you're missing them. They won't be allowed into the halls. Um, we say this frequently every year, but somehow there's always someone sitting outside in the shade with the dog. These are not allowed in the hall while the rest of the family and friends and system of support is setting up the room inside in that beautiful air conditioning. So please don't bring the pets. So. Okay, we have a student named Brooke and she's wondering what to do if her move-in tag hasn't come in yet. 
yeah, still come in on campus using the arrival map. We'll get you set with a new one if it hasn't come in yet. Some other quick notes that I've already mentioned. Um, we have beautiful AC. That's because it's hot in August. It is very hot this week. It'll be pretty hot um, later on as we go through. So please start hydrating today. Um, drink your water, water, hydrate, don't dehydrate. Please make sure that you are well, healthy, and safe for this moving experience because it's emotional and you wanna be able to participate fully in this. Uh, please also wear comfortable shoes. Closed toed shoes are a must when you're moving in. Um, don't wear flip flops or sandals, especially when you're gonna be moving around a lot. Um, this also will protect your feet um, just for the moving experience as well. We are also uh, continuously sending out emails with some information with move-in, so please keep up to date with your UARC email for any other related information about your move-in experience. So even that morning of, check your inbox, make sure you've gotten all the information that you need for arriving on campus. And then another note, um, so once you move in, um, if you move in on Wednesday specifically, your meal plans won't become active until Thursday. Uh, so please plan according, accordingly with your arrival. So your meal plan will be active on Thursday. That means breakfast in the morning on Thursday. You can start swiping your card at your favorite place on campus or your soon to be favorite place on campus. Uh, do we have any other questions from the feed? Yes, we have somebody asking, uh, will their previous UARC ID work for entering into any residence hall? He is a sophomore for context. No, your ID will not use, be used to enter the halls. Um, you will, when you check into the halls, you'll have a key and a fob. So only residents with those keys and fobs will be able to enter the halls. Our IDs don't work to access the residence halls. Okay, perfect. We have another student that wants to know where can they pick up a key? Yeah, so when you pick up your keys, you will enter in that lot where you park with your car you will have directional signage, big tents that will show you where to pick up your keys. Um, you'll bring your student ID, go up to that tent, um, and they will get you set up with your key. So you'll have a little card that you'll have to sign. They'll pre present to you your key. You'll pick that up and be able to enter your hall. Perfect. Yeah. You also mentioned that you can't have a U-Haul. Can you have a U-Haul van? A U-Haul van is different than a U-Haul truck. A U-Haul van, more than likely, as long as it's not an extended van, will be able to fit in our parking spots. So we're really more concerned about taking up more parking spots than normal when it comes to U-Hauls. Perfect. And I know that we all love our pets. Can we bring our pets just to say goodbye one last time? No, we cannot. Um, keep them at home. They won't be allowed to be in the halls, unfortunately. So if you don't want them sweating in the car, please don't bring them. And then after you move in, we'll have a bunch of different events coming up next week. So we'll have a week kicking off. So next week we have a bunch of events that you can kind of go through. You can find out at aweek.uark.edu for the full list. But something in particular that is iconic for a week is Taste of Fayetteville. This is where we bring in a bunch of different local food vendors that are here in Fayetteville to bring them to campus that you can try all of them. There's a lot of free food that is available, but it's also a great way for you to kind of connect and see what is in our community and available. This is very well attended for all these students, so I recommend getting in line a little bit early with your RA and the rest of the people on your floor to get access to all that good food. We also have on Tuesday of a week uh, an event called RecFest. This is where we have a trivia night uh, that is all about Arkansas history, pop culture, and a great way to win uh, great prizes. And then also uh, you can explore the, the Hyper and UREC and all the services it provides as well, including a rock climbing wall. So. so fun. We have somebody that wants to know when can they start parking officially in their student parking spots? You will be able to start doing that Saturday after our movements are complete. I highly recommend joining your floors group me and getting connected with your RA because once they reopen the lots, they'll send out that message to you. And how big are the carts that they use to move in their stuff? The cars? The carts. Carts. Oh, trolleys. They are, I don't know dimensions, um, but they're pretty sizable. They're on wheels. I would say they're about the length of this table we are at 
um, and a little bit wider for a size reference. Um, also, make sure to follow us on social media um, at, UARC, at UARC Housing. We have all of our posts for Instagram. We have all of our lives available on movein.uark.edu as well that were done this year for more information. But this is a great way to get connected with all of our university housing updates. So anything that's happening throughout the school year that we have necessary information to put through, you'll get it here. You will also figure out what events are happening on campus and also get connected to um, some of the community that we have here on campus. Perfect. So in regards to the floor group me's, how quickly should they be expecting to join those? Um, if you're really interested in trying to figure out when that lot opens, I would join it as soon as you see the QR code and how to join it that week when you move in. Um, you'll also have a great opportunity to meet your RA. So this week during your move-in process, I would look into it and see if you can join. But there's no rush unless you're interested in when you can move your car back into the lot. Okay, perfect. And also, if you can't park your car in the green lots during game days, where are you supposed to park? Parking.uark.edu has a really great resource for that. So they have a list of all the lots that you can park in. Um, they have recommended lots. They also have a calendar that they have instructions on that website on how to add. So you know about all the football games and then all the basketball games and what lots those affect. So in regards to buying a parking pass, has that email already been sent out or how would they go ahead and buy one? Uh, you should be able to buy one now. Um, for resident reserved emails, they have already start, started sending out that communication. So if you're trying to figure out if you can get a resident reserve pass, you can always call parking. I believe it's 479-575-PARK um, is their number. You can also go to their website for more information about resident reserved, but all their permits you can do through your parking account at parking.uark.edu. Are people able to lift their beds in Yoakum? For lofting in Yoakum, you should be able to. You can put in a fix-it request to start doing the lofting. Um, you can also check out a mallet when you arrive into the parking lot so that you can lock it yourself to the height that you need. Fun. Now I heard something about a Spotify playlist that we should be looking at. Yes. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, you can find our shared Spotify playlist that is recommended to hype you up for move-in. This spans, um, this is created by students for students um, to use to hype yourself up, gas yourself up for moving in on campus, um, just to kind of match the emotional experience that comes with move-in. Lots of excitement um, and just journey ahead, the unknown into what you're planning for your college career. And on our highlights, you can find a link to it right now under the move-in highlight. You can go there and you can find a link to our, our Spotify list. Do you know if we're allowed to start putting up any type of wallpaper in any of the dorms? There's actually um, no wallpaper allowed to be put up on the halls and the dorms. Um, so if you are looking for more information about how you can decorate best in your residence hall room, I highly recommend going to our housing handbook. It is housing.uark.edu slash handbook. And that will, I specifically go to the ready to arrive guide um, in that. So it can kind of outline everything that you can or can't bring. There's other policies that are telling you about that wallpaper specifically as well that you can look into. Nice. Now on that handbook, does it explain what to do if they find any type of damage or scratches on wall or furniture? It does. There are part of that handbook will direct you to our fix it request, which I mentioned about lofting your beds. Um, that will give you a direct link to that form so you can submit a maintenance request, which is what we call it. Um, so if there's anything broken or if there's anything you need fixed in the room, you can submit that and our maintenance team will be on it. I mentioned the refs too. Yeah. So when you check into your hall, um, we will be encouraging you to go to your housing portal and that will give you access to your room inventory form. So basically what that is, is that shows what the status of all the condition of your items in your room is at. So you might get a brand new chair if you're living in the quad this year. So it'll be set to a new chair. Um, what you'll do is you'll verify the conditions of items. So the chair will be new, but there are other things like the wall might have some scratch marks or something like that. And you're like, oh, I see this. I wanna note it in this form so they know that I came in 
with these scratch marks. So you'll be able to edit this form and track the initial condition of the room um, so that when you check out, you can, we can see that you've noted that in the room and that that was there when you got there. Perfect. Now, will you repeat the website that they can use to fix or put requests in? I don't know the fix it direct link, but you can find it at housing.uark.edu slash handbook. Forward slash fix it too. Oh, forward slash fix it. Mm -hmm. F-I-X-I-T. Yeah. And for Chelsea May, um, we just went over this question, but students can start parking in their resident reserved on the Saturday after move in. Yes, and your RA will let you know via a group meet. We'll do an announcement in every building. Great questions. Mm -hmm. Please keep asking questions. We love it. Um, we've all been in this position one time or another, and so it really helps us to just answer those specific questions that you guys have. I do highly recommend that um, because it is hot this week that you put a little fan in the room. That's like one of the first things I set up in the room when I unload. So if I don't have my fan packed away, I'll go immediately up to the room, plug in the fan and just keep it going because I'll be in and out of that room while we're unloading and unpacking. Um, so I highly recommend that from my personal experience is putting a fan and get that going. So Smart. Mm -hmm. And with all the cardboard boxes that people are bringing in to move in, what, what should they do with them after? Yeah, so you can actually collapse those um, just for space reasons. And we will have a cardboard waste area outside of the residence halls and a fence. There will also be some signage guiding you that way. So you'll put your collapsed box in that area. And we only take those cardboard boxes there. Anything else like plastic trash, foam trash, please tie that up in a trash bag and put that in the dumpsters so that we're not filtering out the cardboard so it makes it easier. And I think we went over this earlier, but just to make sure for Terry, um, if you didn't get a parking permit, whenever you get here, you should get some type of permit, right? Uh, yes. Uh, well, you shouldn't have it coming to campus. You should already be setting that up now for your parking account. So go to parking.uark.edu to start looking at the permits that you might want. I think there's a parking pass called a commuter pass, which is a little off campus. That would be your least expensive option. So if you want to park your car technically off campus a little bit and then come on and not use it very often, that's an option. It's very inexpensive. Where can we find, you know, mailing addresses to send packages to family maybe that's going here? Yeah, uh, your mailing address you can find on your housing portal. So you'll be able to go to your housing portal, select my details, and then it should populate up the mailing address for you. It'll also have a personal mailbox number, which is also PMB on your portal. So you should also put that on your address so that we know who it is, is exactly going to. Sometimes we'll have people that have the same name and are in the same hall. Uh, so that PMB really helps in specifying who it's supposed to be going to and gets it to the right place. Perfect. And whenever people are arriving to campus, is their best bet just go straight to the dorms? Um... Arriving to campus for move-in? Yes. Or, yeah, uh, you'll wanna go immediately right to the hall that you are going to please use the arrival map because that is going to give you the exact route to get into your lot um, if you are trying to arrive from a different direction you won't be allowed into the lot so please stick to those another comment on the mailing address if you are unable to find that on your my details you can also find mailing addresses um, under our hall pages on our website so you can go to housing.uark.edu and click on the hall and you'll have a mailing address attached to that hall that you can find pretty quickly. Awesome. Our friend Abby would like to know how to request to have her bed lofted. Yeah, you'll fill out that fix it request. That's at housing.uark.edu slash fix it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that people have asked so far that might be good for context. Not all halls can be lofted. So Maples, for example, is not one that can be lofted, but it can be raised up enough to put the two stackable drawers underneath. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm trying to think of others that can't be lofted. I think those are the main ones. The Northwest Quad cannot be lofted, so you right. can't loft the. the what did I say? Maples. Quad. I meant Northwest yes. Quad. I meant Northwest, Northwest Quad specifically <laughs> cannot be lofted. Maples, you're in the clear. You can yeah. loft your beds. Don't thank worry about you. that. Gosh, thank you. I yeah. misspoke. I honestly would recommend lofting beds. Um, that is my best storage solution uh, for designing my room. I also really like using the mallet um, and lofting it myself because then I can get the exact right height I need. Um, if you're someone that is worried about falling off the bed, I would not recommend lofting them, um, but there's a bunch of different storage options in our halls that you can kind of move around a lot of your furniture to get exactly what you need from this space. Do people receive their resident reserve parking stickers when they check in or will they get that later? Yeah, so they won't have resident reserve stickers. Uh, what they will do is you need to park with your license plate out in your parking into the aisle of the parking lot. So when you're pulling into your space, as you're walking through the aisle, you need to have your license plate visible. So they do license plate recognition for resident reserve spots. Um, Please make sure that you do that. If you have a license plate on the front of your car, then you can do back end, back in parking. Um, otherwise, um, if your license plate isn't showing, you could make yourself available for a ticket from parking. Okay, two more questions, and we still wanna hear more questions. So if you guys have more, please drop them in the comments. But somebody wants to know, is it pretty easy to use the mallet by yourself? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, I recommend maybe having one other person just to move things around, but the mallet yourself, it's pretty doable. Perfect. And if you ended up changing your move-in day and your time, um, but your pass has already arrived, is that an issue? Nope, not an issue. Still bring that to the lot and we'll just cross it out and edit it for you when you get there. If you haven't received any tags or anything else and you move in this Wednesday, is there any last minute things you should plan on? Um, just arrive to campus, we'll get you your pass. If you, don't, if you haven't received it yet and you're moving in on Wednesday, um, I think that's it. Just keep up to date with your email in case if there's any other changes. Okay. And what is the maximum amount of time that you get to unload your stuff? 30 minutes. So that is the maximum amount of time that you have to unload everything is 30 minutes. Good to know. Okay, guys, we want to hear any last minute questions you have. We're about to start wrapping things up, but please keep dropping them. We have one more big important question for our interviewer right now. So how was your moving in process and just being a freshman? Is there any recommendations that you would have for other new time students yeah um specifically for moving that fan that's a game changer it really is um i would also say take time to invest yourself in the experience so once moving is done um invest yourself in going to the first floor meeting meet the people that are around you in your community go to a week events go with your ra so they can show you the the way of the campus um and then my personal would be Go to a home basketball game. They're great. Uh, we have a new coach this year. It's gonna be super hype. So invest yourself in our athletics experience as well. Perfect. And last couple questions. So do the two cars have to arrive together upon move-in? Um, no, as long as they have their passes. Okay. So a lot of people bring in their two cars together because one car has both of the passes. So if they're gonna arrive separate, just make sure one of those cars has the pass. Perfect. And then also we just want to know and make sure that the start time for the 30 minutes begins as soon as you arrive or after check-in? As soon as you arrive into the lot. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. We encourage you guys to follow the Instagram, drop any extra questions you have on our feed, and we will get back to you. Join future lives. And thank you so much for joining this live. Goodbye.